Hi friends, we will learn about Kintar cut copy paste. So, here in a entry box we will first try with this and in the part 2 we will learn about how to do it in a text box and we'll, then we will move towards integrating to a menu cut, copy, paste and all. So, here I am just entering a data. Uh, welcome to plus 2 net. Fine, I can select all, then I can cut it and simple do the paste it will come here. Now, I can also use the uh, copy let me just again welcome to plus 2 net. Now, I can just use the select all copy then paste it. We will learn all about this. This is our blank template or Kinter window. Let us just run this and see how this looks. This all here we will add our components. Let us just first start with our label. So, one name we are mentioning. So, let us first create that one tk dot label sorry label. Now, my parent window is my underscore w. This is the parent window at we are declared at line number 2 you can see. Now, some text will write it there. Let us say name you can write whatever you want. Slightly bigger font will use. So, more clarity will be there. Now, that is all. So, label is ready. Let us place it on the, our grid. So, here our giving row equal to 0. Now, column equal to 0. So, it is the first row, first column, but I do not want to plus it with my uh, edges. So, slightly I am giving pad x is 2. So, from the left edge. So, I am not flushing with the left edge and from the top also I am giving little gap pad y 20. So, that is all my entry box is ready. The most to the right of this entry box will have the our one uh, sorry this to the right of this label will have our entry box where we will be uh, we will be entering the data which is to be cut copy or paste we will use it. So, I am giving a name as E1 better we will give a gap E1 equal to TK dot is the entry one. So, I am giving again my parent window my underscore W. Now, some uh, I do not want to write any text here simple I will go for font equal to 20 slightly bigger font and I am giving a bigger width also and some BG. So, it will prominently appear. So, background I am giving it as yellow. So, that is all let us press this on our grid E1 dot grid. So, row equal to it is in the right of our label. So, row should be 0 same row column will be increased by 1 and I am giving column span uh, column span equal to 4. Why I am giving column span 4 is because I will have buttons aligned within this uh, entry box. So, entry box width I have given little more. So, 4 buttons will be there. That is why I have given little bit width to the column. So, the buttons can be accommodated within that. You just want to see it. Let us just save this up to this point and run it. Here it is. Let us go for our buttons. So, first button is uh, select all because we want to select that. So, we will give it B1 equal to TK dot button. Now, here again my underscore W, my parent window. Now, here I will write a text to tell what this button will going to do. So, I will say select all. Now, then comes the command. This is the most important part of it. Command here I am writing equal to lambda because this will be a small inline code I will directly execute. We will not use callback function here. In the part 2, we will use that where you for the uh, end text wizards where multi line data can be entered, there we will use the callback function. Directly we will write because we have some advantage here. Because it is a entry box, so what you will do, we will say select sorry E1, E1 is our entry box 1. For that, select range. This is a built in method is there. So, why not to use it? 0 then till end. So, this will select the all the thing. Now, uh, let me just give little uh, font and style. I will just come to next line font equal to 20 and BG is the background color of this button. So, I am giving sorry BG equal to light green. 
okay so my button is ready now let me just place it on the grid where it will be because the row 0 you can see the row 0 we have placed the entry box here so row 1 will place this button and to the right of it next button next button so all my buttons will have row 1 and column will 1 2 3 4 like that it will move so I am just putting it row equal to 1 so and column column equal to now it is 1 so I am just below the uh, my entry wizard because column 0 is my label so column 1 I am placing it now slightly instead of flushing it I will give pad x equal to 2 for this particular button so that's uh, okay that's fine now you can test it also so far let me save this running this now say I am something I have written select all yeah it is selected now I will go for cut copy paste this button code I have copied it I am just pasting it here this is my second button I'll use it for cut so I am giving it as b2 now text I will change it to cut now here the command will change here so for this I will write because I now I am going to particular e1 and I am not uh, selecting anything I'll use the concept event generator event event generate so this will generate the event and there is no callback function here and we'll use it in the part two where you will be using it for our uh, uh, text entry so uh, sorry text wizard so multiple lines will be there there we will be, be using it so now this event generate what it will do, do is i am just writing a event here so this event is okay it should be within the quotes here it should be here now i'll say cut so this will cut my this one and lambda e1 okay now this will trigger the it will cut the selection whatever i have selected at the top now font that now font is 20 let it be background i will slightly change it to like after light green i will use light yellow you can use hex code whatever you want i am just using this now here my row columns it should not be one it should be two because it is right of it and this pad x is not required because already it is taken care now sorry here i have to make it be two fine now this i will copy it and paste it for my b3 and one more i will go that is b4 so cut now this should be my copy b3 here i am writing again b3 now here this will be b4 cut copy paste b4 so b2 i have written already cut now here b3 i will uh, where is my b3 okay row 0 column should be right of it so 3 here a column i should change it to 4 right of it so this should be copy after cut copy now here i will say paste and slightly colors light yellow why i will keep it slightly i will change it to let me put it light blue and here i will change it to c y a n fine so colors i have changed but the main issue of this commands i have so far not changed so cut here i will just write copy now here i will write paste but here is a difference now this should go to a another because i, I let me put it in a another uh, event so i will give it as e sorry another entry box so i'll give it as entry let this paste option operation works on the next one but so far i have not declared it so now i have to write that e2 here e2 equal to tk dot entry now what's my parent window is my underscore w now text uh, there is no text here let it be blank initially so i am just giving font equal to 20 and uh, let's say width which should be in fact i should do one more thing i should directly copy this one from here this will be same only i will just change the names and rows let me just come here paste it so here i will say e2 now again i will 
put this as greed on e2 but the row is next one so after row 1 it should be row 2 okay now column is 1 let it be 1 uh, column span is 4 and slightly I will not flux flux with the top one so I am pad y I am giving equal to 20 so now this is let it be background be yellow that's all now this e2 when I am pasting it was this this I am paste operation I am applying to e2 so that's all let's just run this and see how this works here it is so I'll say welcome to plus two net fine select all now I am cut I am using paste operation it has come here now let me delete this I am just use the keyboard to delete this so I am again I am writing hi welcome okay select all now I can use a copy operation and paste it here that's all whatever I do it again if I'll paste it it should yeah it should keep on pasting but here we are not used a callback function in part two we'll go for that that's all friends so I hope it is clear you can entire source code you can download and if you have further doubts suggestion questions anything you have put it in the comment section below we'll accordingly will modify it and my request is please subscribe to our channel and share this video with you all your friends and thank you for watching and don't forget to watch the part two of it thank you